focusing on now I want you to think about where you can get out there and look for storage facilities tertiary markets or in between secondary and tertiary markets right so when you're driving around or looking around for storage you know you can be in between all these secondary and tertiary markets you can't be in between secondary to primary in most areas it's like 90% of the places are just going to be too expensive for everybody now. Um, all right, to get your hand into the into the game, to get your foot into the game, okay? So that's it. So your job, has anybody been driving for storage on here? Has anybody been actually out looking, driving for storage, okay? Uh, good. Tell me what you found, Frank. Tell me what you found. I want to know what y'all found. What kind of deals are y'all finding? So I have an idea. Or have you been actually have you driven and then what you want to do is you just want to make a you know a spreadsheet of every single storage facility that you find and keep track of those and what i say personally is when you are right in front of that storage facility right in front of it you call the owner and guess what the phone is on the sign the phone is right on the sign okay so just give them a call and see if they want to sell now sometimes all right, you're going to get the manager to answer the phone. And guess what? The manager doesn't want to sell. The manager doesn't want to sell, right? Because they don't want to lose their job. All right, you have to talk to the owner. So managers do not suffice. If you talk to the owner, sorry, if you talk to the manager, that means that you need to skip trace. All right, skip trace. What is skip tracing? Put it into the chat. So if everybody who, everybody has never heard of skip tracing, you have to skip trace in order to talk to the owner if you are talking to a manager. When you skip trace, you should be able to get the name, the address, the, the, the address of the facility, the address of the owner, the, the phone number of the owner, all the phone numbers of the owner, and the email addresses of the owner. Okay. All right. Skip tracing is how you find the personal information of the owner of a property. You have to have the address of the property. So make sure you have your address of the facility and then just Google skip tracing and you will be able to put that address in and you pay some money for it. I mean, like, you know, for one skip trace is like five bucks, maybe anywhere from a dollar to $10, all right? The more you pay for, the, the more money you pay for a skip trace, the better the information is going to be. So a dollar, you can get like crappy information and $10, you can get like awesome information, okay? I use either, I, do, I use IDI or American Tracers. And what, put some skip tracing companies into the chat so everybody can hear who they're using. Like, I think somebody put Lexus Nest, Nexus in there. Google some Google skip tracing right now and see what you find. Okay. Um, I use IDI. IDI is, is like super expensive, but it's like the best of the best. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. So now you want to get out, drive, look for storage facilities, call them up, call the owners, talk to the owners, and then you have the list of things that you can ask them. Now, when you talk to them, you're just going to talk to them like a regular person. Like I said, like I went to go talk to this guy. I mean, I talked to him on the phone. I was like, you want to sell? You know, I'm interested in buying. He's like, yeah. He's like, why don't you come on up and I'll show you around. So I did. I went up, hung out with him, drove around, hung out with him, talked to him for a couple of hours, connected with him, built rapport with him. These types of owners in tertiary markets, they want to connect with you. So sitting and just calling and calling. Like I have one guy, Jamie. I said, I put this email in the coaching, uh, in the coaching um, software that we use for the coaching program. He emails me like once every month and he's like, Hey, my name is Jamie. I work for, you know, a, a storage facility owner and we are trying to buy more storage facilities. I see you own, you know, a thousand doors. How many, you know, would you be interested in selling any of your facilities? If you would, please send me all this information. And it's like a list of like all the stuff that I just said. And I'm like, delete, delete. I'm not going to call this dude. And he calls me too. He calls me like once a month, checks in. And then, uh, you know, and then he emails me as well. And I just, I'm just, I'm, I've become a typical storage facility owner that you're going to be buying from. I'm telling y'all, 
I am a storage facility owner. I'm just like all of them. And what I want is I want somebody to come over and I want them to take me to Starbucks and buy me a cup of coffee, you know, or something like, you know, I want them to connect with me. I want them to like, it's not just like a robot calling numbers and seeing if you want to sell. Now you can do that on the residential side, maybe you can do cold calling, robo calls and stuff like this, but on the, in the tertiary market of the storage investing world, it's all about building rapport, talking to owners.